I just figured this time for six nine seconds that we would do oh, no, it's five. literally. Well, for t- now it's six because I got a promotion. Well, I got a promotion. Uh, got to do. Damn it! And uh, so these are like literally records that it's just like I don't know. I wonder if J Dog's heard them. So might as well. I mean, usually if it is kind of something, you just be like here's nine seconds of and then, yeah, yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah. So let's yeah, yeah, yeah. check it out. Oh, you're hailed in. Huh? You're already preloaded. Yep. Oh, Came fuck. prepared this time. Is this the simulation? This is a nuclear assault. New song. Is that the third album? Yeah. You intrigued? <laughs> I remember. Uh, no, well, no. I like uh, Game Over, and then what's it? Was it the um? Was it the Plague? The EP? Right. So um, then I like those two, and I like the demos. That album there. That was the last album I heard, and I remember. Critical Mass. No. This is prom. No, this is still nuclear assault. I figured I'd give oh, you so two sounds, songs. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> right. The fun. It's like you got you got to listen to this. Because I remember not liking it. Yeah. Well, was that the one with the Earth on the cover? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was saying. I, I remember you always like ragging. I'm like, I, I'm pretty sure I don't, I don't think you've listened to this album. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, it definitely sounds pretty good. Yeah. All I have is the. Uh, I have the. Uh, that double LP with Game Over and the Plague on one. And, yeah. And then I have a demo LP. Well, yeah, a demo LP. And that's all I own. And I, I, I know I listened to that. I listened in the shop, and I remember not liking it. And I knew that was the next album line, and I never listened to anything since. But my other introduction, what was it like? Maybe it was 2016 MDF, Nuclear Assault played. So yeah. So newer, Dude, I didn't like it at all. Whatever well, right. they were playing there. So they were playing songs from whatever up to Right. And what that I was like, man, I do not like this set at all. <laughs> well so here's uh let's see what you think of uh prong from Force Fed. Freezer burn. I don't think I've ever heard this, but uh, I know who Prong is, but this is uh, this is way better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, this is the second album. The first album's only eighteen minutes. This one's actually a full length. What's this one called? Force Fed. There's two different versions. What year is that? 86. Wow. Yeah. Actually, no, 87. What does this vocal sound like? Well, they're one of those bands that have two different vocalists, bass player and Tommy Victor, the guitarist. It's just a three-piece. Let's hear some, let's hear some throats. Yeah, let's get the throats. Let's fast forward. This sounds familiar. Does someone cover that? Uh, I don't think so. Now put it to you. This is where the part gets ripped. It's really raw, too. I love the production. Yeah, this is pretty, uh, definitely not some overproduced fucking. What do you mean, like? This is pretty good. Yeah, it's awesome. Dude, I always, when I think of prong, I just think snap your finger, snap your neck. I mean, this riff, it's like rigor mortis or someone. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. It's like so crazy. Yeah, and I'm a huge Rigor Mortis fan. Do you know who likes Prong? No, dude, I always just thought snap your finger, snap your neck, and I was like, I don't like this. No, the first two fucking Prongs, so I dude. Just, I just assumed that. You know, Like, what's another band when you bring them up and people give you the stink face? Well, I, so we, they, since they get brought up on this channel all the time, Six Feet Under. Yeah. They get the stink face. I'm like, yeah, but you ever listen to the first? The first album's great. Oh, there you go. So yeah, but but I mean, I can see some kid today who's just you know getting into like actual real death metal. You mentioned Six Feet Under, and all he's oh. heard was their. Yeah, newer, he's probably like, "What the? F- why would I like that?" I like to think there's a bigger difference between Prong and Six Feet Under. Okay, too. well, another band. It's like Cradle of Phil. Actually, uh, what's his, uh, he did do? Uh, 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 what's it called? Um, uh, Six Feet Under. They uh, they covered they covered Snap Your Finger, Snap Your Neck. Yeah, so it's yeah, pretty, pretty funny. Right, right. Yeah, that's no problem. But there are like every album pretty much changes after the first two. Is the first one just like that? Even though it's only eighteen minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's just oh yeah. It's uh. In fact, it's even more raw. (laughs) And I just I love. Was that eighty five then the first song? Uh, eighty. I think that was eighty six. But it could have been eighty five. Yeah, they're an old band. Yeah, I didn't. For years, I didn't realize that they're at all either. I mean, you told me like last episode or so, but I always figured they probably start around ninety two, ninety three. No, I'm cu- curious then. Uh, Annihilator, since it was brought up, uh, or going to be brought up, there was definitely an album more. Uh, so, 
Annihilator is appropriate uh, and on my mind. So I want to see, because I'm pretty sure, I don't think you've ever listened to them. No, this new band that you're doing? This is still fucking uh, <laughs> Nuclear Assault. What the it's hell is the CD player doing? I was going to say, I kept thinking it was going to be the simulation because you had it on top. Yeah, like, and it keeps going. The simulation's the... pretty good. <laughs> but I haven't heard it yet. What the fuck are you doing? How do you yeah. not know how to use that thing yet? No, because it keeps doing it, changing on me. Here's Alice in Hell. Title fucking track. Let's get it away. Alice, it's a, it's got that a long... Annihilator? Yeah. I thought you played a simulation. I got Annihilator right now. Because oh. I don't think... Did Annihilator get, like, really bad? Yeah, but, like, no, that... in a very weird way. Okay, because I think that's what I've heard is one of the really bad albums. Is Alice in Hell uh, the first album? Yeah. Well, it's cool. Pretty fucking, where are they from? California? Uh, Canada. Canada? Fuck, okay, I didn't even know that. Big four Canadian thrash, bro. My father taught me many things. What, uh, this? What year is Alice in Hell? It's, uh, uh this will be interesting, this next one. Um, 89 says. Yeah, uh, sure. yeah, that sounds about right. With the, well, the demo, no, because the, the demo era the demo uh, was 86. Too? The demo is better because it's like that Usually song. Are. And then Def, Jeff Waters, who's the balls of the band. Has anyone the, ever put out the demo? Uh, they put it on there uh, and on the, bonus on the tracks? bonus tracks. Yeah, that's one of those two on ones. But uh, what's the second one? Then the second album. Never yeah, and, and some of the and some of the songs are still on that from the demo is, era. Is the second album any good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, different vocalist on that then too. They always had a revolving door of vocalists. But so yeah, Jeff Waters. He he actually sings on the demo though, mm-hmm. and he does like monster vocals, and they're and I think it sounds cooler with that. Um. But yeah, is the whole demo on there? They didn't just put two tracks. They did it. something really shitty. God, yeah, I fucking but hate I've got that, it. Man. I've got the, got the, the demo. demo. Yeah, so is, is and, it, and one that they didn't even put on there. So there's two demos. Yeah, man, yeah. Before the albums, exactly. Put that out. J Dog buy that. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fucking sweet. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I have just like copies of the demo tapes. So this next one though is going to be very interesting because you've always ragged and I've always said I don't think you've listened to them. So this is the homeboy as fuck. Supposedly, uh, Biohazard, Biohazard now, first I, album. Though. I always picture that with just fucking, you know, um, just All right, just well, ghetto looking fucking, you know, homeboy shit. Well, even even this photo though. Uh, Let me see. I, I mean, is that really a bunch? Of, is that a bunch of homeboys? No. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You gotta. I think you gotta hear the album. Is this the first album? <laughs> yes. What year is this? Eighty eight. Something like that. Sounds about right, yeah. Or, yeah. This is still fucking nuclear assault! <laughs> why, why does it keep going back to this one? I don't understand. Like, don't, aren't these... I know, like, because the, the like, song's still playing. Like, no, you know what I mean? Yeah, like taught me many things. All right, all right, all right, all right let's just four. fucking... He taught me... Keep we gotta keep YouTube happy. Is this the hands? Sounds like fucking, uh, Carnivore. Yeah, New York band. Same era. Sounds, sounds, like, even... sounds like Carnivore. I was going to say, the track was is on. The drumming's on. This is awesome, too. That's pretty good. There's two vocalists too. It sounds like that punk metal New York style. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you guys were always ragging on me. You're like, well, dude, what I heard was, I was like, the first album was pretty fucking good. <laughs> like, what? I mean, what? So, what's the home? But what's the what's the rap album? The, the, the it started to happen on the second one. It, it, uh, yeah. Well, I can't little, help. I mean, that's what well, I heard. the second one's still pretty good. Well, sometimes when you hear but, something, you're like, I don't like this at all. The New York, it's like, added, I don't go back. Well, for them, the New York attitude then really, really brewed to start rapping. Uh, because on the second album, it's still got very, very New York Yeah, attitude. but even like you do the same shit. Like, I'm pretty sure to this date, I think maybe you walked in on once in the shop. You're like, yeah, this isn't bad. Like, you've never heard beginning to end the first Cradle of Filth album. Oh, like, yeah. And you're like, I've heard Cradle of Filth. I thought it sucked. Well, then we're going like, to do six, nine I like, seconds. I was, like, I was like, the first album that you might like. Well, then do six, nine seconds what J Dog thinks uh, uh, Reap Dog hasn't heard. No, because I think I think you did walk in the shop. You're like, yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah. Pretty sure. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure you said you didn't uh, listen to Edge of Sanity, so I'm going to get your uh, it's reaction. Funny, funny bring that up. Mm-hmm. Why? Well, that sounds like a house intro. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. I already, I like uh, and, and and that's a shout out to whoever was on YouTube yeah, that, that saw the interview and you where you or, or the episode of Hellcast, I guess probably. So I I gazed, you, I, uh, I I guess gazed through a little bit just to get a uh, brief idea of. Because you saw that comment. No, no. Uh, somebody talking, was on YouTube like, G Dog, you have to go and listen to Edge of Sanity. Like, you're missing out. Well, first off, I, I, have, <laughs> I have heard them. It's just, it, you know what I mean? Not like, by this guy, the core. <laughs> no, but you got to understand, like, um, so, good. like, uh, you know, being around Metal 24 7 is, is great, but it's a blessing in disguise, too, because a lot of times, like, in my, because when I heard Edge of Sanity, I was probably already in my 20s. So we're, right. already, we're already deep into doing hells. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So we're already deep. <laughs> Shut this off and tell the fucking story. <laughs> Fuck that story. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of for real. I'm in the middle of a story. So uh, you, when, in the midst of the 20s, a lot of the shit that I heard is you were hearing, that's when I did hear Edge of Sanity, is you would hear that band at the same time as like literally 20 other things. Right. So it kind of blurred together. Right. So you kind of like, sometimes like I miss the old days to where like when you're 16, you, went, you picked up a record. And then you went back and you listened to it for like the next two weeks because it was the only new thing you had, right? So you really got to know it. Now when you have so much, people are like, that must be great. It's like, it's cool, but you don't really get to appreciate it sometimes. I, I mean, and as I say, it's one. And actually, uh, so I, I, what I was saying is getting through is uh, the Dan Swano interview you did. Right. Um, so I'll just skip it through it a little bit just to at least get a, a taster before because it was a really long interview. Yeah. And I, like, oh, yeah. I didn't have time to listen to the whole thing. But I, I I got the two parts. I got the Infest Dead part, which was funny because I'm a huge Infest Dead fan. Right. And I I remember him talking about uh, some clean vocal part he did. Right. That's uh, uh that was uh it, on Unorthodox. It's the first. Oh, was track. Because I was going to bring up uh the reason why I was going to uh, bring it up is because uh I did put on the shop. It was the only one we had left in stock. Was uh I think it's Purgatory Afterglow. Oh yeah yeah. Is that the one with the all red cover? Yeah. I put it on and, and there's that intro. I'm like. Yeah yeah I yeah. Am not like this. But then it kicks all. in and you're like yeah. Boo. But then it kicked in. I'm like, this is really good. Yeah. And there was only like one or I two. I told you. There's only like one or two parts on it where I'm like, eh. But all in all, as an album, I was like, that was really fucking good. Yeah. Even the um, yeah. uh, like Black Tears, this like where he sings. Oh, this. I listened to the shop. I don't know. I didn't have the songs. Well, right like in front he of me, does but, like yeah. he does like soft like clean maybe singing. Maybe on that's where I got. Them. I'm kind of like, eh. But about, uh, when I got that part, but uh, maybe that's what I was thinking. There was another part where I was kind of like, eh. I remember maybe would change that. But all in all, I thought it was a very very good record. Right. And I think that's a much later one, isn't it? I think so too. Yeah. And was uh, it the fifth one maybe or so? I don't know, because the current G is the demo, or is that the first album? That's like the that's the demo. Yeah. What's the first album then? Uh, I think Death, but nothing but Death oh, Remains. Okay, okay yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, because uh, so yeah, I need to go through the whole catalog and really uh, go through it and give it a good solid listen. With uh, well, the funny thing is, uh, with no distractions. You know what I mean? The funny thing is, is Dan, uh, he said in that interview that uh, this has been six nine seconds. Or, oh shit, we got to. What do you make it to simulation? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Dan said though he uh, that there was a video on YouTube of the very night that they got signed, and okay. I found that show and it and he said you know because they got signed at Black Mark. Uh, I don't know eighty 90, something eighty. Oh, I thought it was or maybe I yeah think early nineties, right? I forget eighty nine, eighty nine, I think. And uh, I think Quarthon's like in the beginning of it, like because oh, they're really? just like around at the show and like there's an old because he said yeah Quarthon's dad was there. Yeah, he yeah. saw him live and that's when they, that's when they got signed was nice. that night. So yeah. Yeah, it was a cool little tidbit of history. Yeah, he was a he was awesome. So you got to meet Korthon then too in person. I guess. Well, I, he was from the same kind of area, that upper Sweden. Yeah, it just Dan seemed like Swano Korthon was, was kind of because you know how Bathory didn't really do shows and shit. It's just like right. He just seems kind of mysterious to where it's like, for example, I don't know anybody personally that's that's met him. You know what I mean? Right. As opposed, to like you can name anyone else, Kronos or whatever. You know, big big names in the metal scene. You know, right. That you, most people, you know, a lot of people met him. So let's check out uh, Assimilation. With, so it's not even out yet, is it? Or is it? It's out now. Yeah, out just now. came out uh, at the time of recording this yesterday, and this was the so uh, they, title, the first. They, single. they already got it in the mail by the time they're seeing this video. Yeah. Oh, this is death metal. Yeah. That's why I wanted you to hear it. The vocals right out the gate are just the first twelve seconds is reminding me of a band called Infamy from uh, California. They did an album called The Blood Shall Flow. Pick it up if you ain't got it. It's fucking great. It's early two thousands. Yeah. That's the first thing that popped my mind with that. Well, musically much different than Infamy. It's a little bit more upbeat. A little yeah. bit more. Yeah, it's kinda of all over like cause then there's us. 
like yes, Breakdown I'll... Part 2. Look like even this song is uh, tainting, uh, tainted, er, I like the cover tattered wings. wings. Yeah, I like the Fuck. cover. I really like the cover art. Yeah, been getting a lot of people pointing it out. Yeah, I do like the It's good, Sweet, yeah. Hell, even Marco from The Crown, I noticed. Liked <laughs> it? Yeah, he liked the cover art. Apparently, he was asking about it. Yeah, let me see it. I, I do like that cover art. It almost reminds me of, even though it's different, just because it's kind of like a devil, and it almost reminds me a little bit of suffocation human waste. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even though it doesn't look anything like it, but just kind of the whole, I don't know. And there's a cool, uh, le- there's a cool leaning to... They did a King Diamond cover? That's sweet. Yeah, um, yeah. And maybe they're going to have the negative reverb pull Chris Barnes and rip on it. Uh, look at him. You recognize it? Oh, of course. Fantastic song. First, <laughs> it's the first song off them. They do something, yeah, differently on, on him. Like vocally, anyway. Yeah, they're trying to sing like King. CD players skipping there, bruh. Buy all that dust. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is fun fact. So, like, guess welcome home. So, um, um, the invisible guess. Yeah. Like, that's one of my favorite King Diamond songs of all time. And matter of fact, if I had to pick just off the top of my head, my two favorite King Diamond songs, excluding Merciful Fate, just strictly talking about King Diamond, uh, my two favorite King Diamond songs would be um, A Mansion in Darkness off Abigail. Right. And The Invisible Guest. Well, uh, do you agree, uh, like uh, Assimilation said in their press release, who the fuck covers uh, King Diamond? <laughs> well, lots of bands have. Emperor yeah. did. Or what, Death Metal Band? No, Emperor did. Emperor covered uh, Gypsy by Merciful Fate. Uh yeah, King uh, Hel- Diamond, Hel- Hel- Hellborn from uh, Poland, Sebastian. Oh yeah, man, yeah, Hellborn. <laughs> uh, they covered King Diamond, and I want to say it was a mansion in darkness. Uh, I guess Exhumed did too. They did. <laughs> no, no presents for Christmas. Um, no, a bunch of bands have covered fucking King Diamond. Plus, there's the uh, King Diamond cover disc. 